Okay, yeah. So I'm done explaining for all five classificasi already. So now let's go ahead and look into our persamaan perikanan table that is on page five. Okay, page five. So in this table, I already clearly write down for the formula that you have to follow. Asset equals to liability plus EP. So even when you are preparing your jadwal, I say, uh, I suppose school teachers should prepare the table for you. But if they don't prepare for you, then too bad, you will have to draw this jadwal by yourself. But anyways, okay, you have to memorize one because even if they give you the table, you still need to fill up all these details by yourself. They won't print it out for you. Now, except if your school teacher just wants you guys to fill up the bottom part, then yeah, they will print out. But I would say we think about worst case scenario. We don't go and imagine. We don't expect teacher to prepare it for us. So that's why you got to memorize what you write on top. So the first row is going to be asset, liability, EP for the classificasi. And then the bottom, these columns here, is based on the question, what items we have inside. So the liability and EP, you realize that there's no belanja has here, right? So where should we put it to? You guys can write down. Untong Berse is the place where you put in hasil, where you put in belanja. So how do you work with it now? If there is a hasil, you will put in as a positive amount. But if it's a belanja, you will put in as a negative amount. So I will give you guys an example question here to write down so you all can kind of practice your knowledge here for Bab 2 Persamaan. So membeli, membeli barang secara credit RM500. Okay, now the minimum requirement is from every single sentence, you have to find at least two butir to be written. Okay, so what is the butir again? Whatever you learned from previously, the chonto that I asked you guys to memorize. ABS, AS, LS, LBS, and EP. So all these are the butirs. But you don't need to change them and write it out because it's already in the table. Did you see? You only have these choices. Okay, so now... Membeli barang secara credit. Why must minimum two? Because if I want asset to equals with liability plus EP, uh, isn't it I must at least have two things so that it can balance on both sides? But is it necessarily to always be on the same side? I say no. Lah. Okay. If both also asset 500 minus 500, can it equal? Actually, yes. Because here, you don't write anything, it's considered as zero. While 500 minus 500, isn't it also zero? So you just need to make sure that every time, the minimum, okay, minimum is to find dual butir so that you can do plus, minus, or both positive at the same time that you balance your table right here. So we will focus on every single row, yeah, as the date comes by. So let's say this is January 5th. Okay, how you put, you will put it into your table, 2021, January 5th. This is the format of writing your tarik, yeah? 2021, January 5th, you will put in beli barang. This is the keyword. Sechara credit is also the keyword. So barang is actually your barang yaga. Because you see, I always tell my students that if they didn't tell you specifically what type of barang, we only have two types of barang. It's either asset bukan semasa or barang nyaga. Can you choose ABS? Say no, because ABS got seven types. So here, got perabot, got kenderaan. How can you be sure that it's perabot? How can you be sure that it's going to be kenderaan? So under that situation, you cannot choose, okay? Is barang uh, perabot or kenderaan? Then it's actually your barang. Nyaga. Okay, so for bab dua, they like to come out like this. They like to just write barang, but actually it's barang nyaga. So we will put that 500 into our inventory that is for barang nyaga. Now, how would you label it? I said no need to label anything because as you buy, isn't it barang akan bertambah? And also secara credit, your hutang juga akan bertambah. So both should be in a positive form. That's why positive number just write the number itself will do. Okay, so this is the first thing, inventory. I said two things. Ma. I have already completed the barang, but you see, my row here doesn't balance. So what about the secara credit? Now think about the word, burly. As you buy, do you have to pay? Now obviously you have to pay, but did you pay or not? Secara credit, no. 
you did not pay. So that's why it's called as account below buyer. So we will go into account below buyer and place the 500 ringgit in. So can you see on the same row, what happened? Our asset is now equals to liability plus equity firm lay. So uh, the whole concept is that if you want them to equals, if the other side asset is negative, the other side must also be in negative form. But if it's a positive form, the other side also must be positive form or zero equals to zero. Which means that I can finish one side by itself to become zero. So the other side, I do not need to record anything anymore. So this is the requirement of doing your persamaan per account. Right? So by the end of it, what you would do, uh, okay, you would have to close your jadwal by drawing a total line like this. Okay, and proceed to do what? Bring down whatever number that you see inside your jadwal to the last row. So just go by its own column. Then the number will be 500, 500. So you see, now maybe we don't have a lot of numbers, but as you fill up your table, you will find so many numbers on the columns itself. And what you do, you will just total up whatever you see under these asset columns. Okay, you add all of them together and form a Joomla that is called Joomla Asset. Meanwhile, the other side, you will also add your liability together with your EP items, except for who? Ambulance. You guys write down, yeah? Ambulance number must always be in a negative form. Okay, so how are we going to say it? Okay, example. Pemilik mengambil tunai untuk kegunaan sendiri. Or pemilik mengambil bank untuk kegunaan sendiri. So what happens is, as your pemilik take out money from bank, money get lesser by let's say a hundred ringgit. So I will put it in a bracket form because money decreases. So bank berkurang hundred ringgit. At the same time, what is that? It is actually a form of ambilan. So the way you record ambilan yeah, must always come in a bracket never will be without a bracket because it's constantly a negative item. Can you remember just now the EP there that I said model is positive, ambilan is always negative. That's why in your persamaan perikangan, whatever you put under this column should be in a negative form that they accumulate also in a negative form. So I don't care how many ambilan items is there, but if there is another one, I will also put in a negative form. So how we combine together? As you put the total, it will be a negative 600 ringgit. So the total here, yeah, for ambilan should always constant be in a negative form. Okay? So that's it for your persamaan for ikanan jadwal. Now, after you have done the jadwal, I'm going to say, yeah, because from the previous year, because last year don't have any exams, right, because during COVID, but the, from previous year before last year, it was actually came out with this kind of question, but the question asked for this. Penyata kedudukan kewangan sahaja. Then a lot of students will completely forget about the jadual method and they will just straight away do the penyata kedudukan kewangan. But actually you can't because without the items inside your jadual, which is all this total that we found at the end, you will not be able to do PKK. So no matter what, this jadual is a necessary thing to do. So I uh, say uh, if during the exam, uh, they request for penyata kedudukan kewangan, but you will have to do the rumors here, right? The jadwal. It's okay. Just do the jadwal. If really no time, your school teacher can still give you marks based on your jadwal one. So this is like the worst case scenario. But please don't uh, think that, okay, just because this teacher say, oh, can I just do jadwal? Ah. Then next time, I don't need to do penyata kedudukan kewangan. Lah. I say, no, you still have to do. Just worst case scenario. At least you couldn't do your PKK. You still have jadwal as a back up for your school teacher to give you marks okay so why ambilan is in negative form because when you take what happens to your money isn't it negative so ambilan the way it increases is in negative form one so when i say okay how much is your ambilan i will say in 500 but as we record into a report ambilan is a negative because of this again can you see the relationship as my permanent bower muscle model. But another term, 
okay if i want the model to decrease i will not say minus model instead i create this booty called ambulance and it's constantly in negative form just so that i can adjust the figure of how much i still hutang kepada orang sendiri okay all right so because for ep items are is always hutang kepada pemilik mah as model increase hutang increase oh. but if ambilan eh hey, ambilan next hutang decrease that's why it's constantly in negative form okay yeah all right so we are done with the persamaan perikanan already um i'll just uh quickly go ahead to this question one and tell you guys a concept of how to do it so i'll leave it for you guys to explore for your bug doer and then i'll quickly move on to bug figure and also bug empat okay so for question one mm. Um, the, the answer is actually at the back already. So you don't have to like ask me now because I already put all the answers at the back of your seminar notes. So later on, right, even after the seminar, I will not post the answer to the uh the website because it's already in your set. So you guys just look at the back for the answer. Okay. All right. So for question one. Question one, yeah. Uh you need to take note on what shop you are. So I will just uh highlight the Gedai Electric Manap. So what you need to know from here is the word electric, yeah, okay? Not that I'm selling electric, okay? It's impossible for people to sell electric. So what I'm selling right now is alatan electric. So for BM terms, they work it like this, okay? They like to put terms that confuse you, but it's actually alatan electric, like what? Like penghawa dingin, or we say uh, fridge, okay? All these are considered as alatan electric, uh, or you can write down barangan electric. They are considered as our barang niaga. Okay, yeah. So for question number one, uh, the beginning of it, they gave you baki baki asset by the first June two thousand nineteen. Now, no matter is for bab doer or even your bab empat, yeah. Uh, those that of you that follow me in usual class, you all would know one. Okay, the question always do this. Okay, for what? For the beginning, you have to follow according to asset equals to liability plus EP. Can I have assets without the basic EP? No. So this is the trick, okay? The question purposely miss out the most important thing that is your equity permit. So your task is to help them add on and that item will surely be modeled. So surely, uh, surely will be modeled. So there are also students that constant asking me, teacher, will they ask me to find liability? Answer is not, they won't, okay? Because liability is a form of hutang. If I really have a hutang, they should be that. But model is something that we usually might forget to record. That's why they want to test you. See whether you remember or not. We have to follow according to the formula. Asset must at least equals to EP. So how do you find your model? Now just go ahead and add all these numbers together and you will proceed to get your model already. So I said you guys will have to prepare your calculator, right? So let's get ready and find the model amount out. Okay, add all together, yeah? 26,000 plus 40,000 and 12,000. So by the time you add all numbers together, your model will equal to 78,000. Now, after you have done finding your model, then please copy them into your table according to their names. Model, lengkapan, bank, dengan inventory. These are the starting figure of your jadwal. And what is the date going to be? This. 1st June 2019. So the format to write your date. So you remember, put year, month, and then the date itself. All right. So 2019. Now, they didn't give you the area to put because I already put in Baki Awa. So let's say, if you realize, eh, do you write Baki Awa? Do you still want to squeeze your date in? No need lah. If they already write like this for you, then just leave it. Unless it's an empty one. So you just put 2019, June 1st. Okay, so we copy. Yeah. Model is a 78,000. 78,000. So what else we have? We have Lengkapan to be 26,000. 26,000. Bank is a 40,000. And last one, inventory is going to be 12,000. So you see, we have already fulfilled the beginning. That is asset equals to liability plus EP. Okay, so why? A bit saying it already are uh, supposed to be here. So the journey's asset that we have is very, very limited. You only have Lengkapan, Bank, ABT, and Inventory. So you take note, whenever you want to choose your boutique, you can only keep it within the range of these four assets. Okay, two liability, and then three equity permanent. 
So you see, constantly remind yourself, ambilan must always be in negative form, while untung bersih can be positive, can be negative, depending on whether it's hasil or belanja. So if hasil tambah belanja, then I put bracket inside the untung bersih column. All right, so let's see for the first point. Now, the first point is, Pemilik membawa masuk rak pameran bernilai 2,800 untuk kegunaan perniagaan. So the keywords are membawa masuk and what did your pemilik bring in? Rak pameran. Now if you can still recall back what I said earlier, rak pameran is supposedly under perabot. But as we choose, I'm going to choose a rak pameran. Okay, look at your asset. Is there such thing as perabot? They didn't give you the choice. So how uh, I, I add myself, no, Donna, if they already prepared you with the jadwal and specific terms are given, you can only choose from this range, which can you guys tell there's only one ABS over here. So Rak Pameran, is it my Barang Yaga? Eh, no, it's not Barangan Electric Wall. So actually this Rak Pameran should be changed into Leng Gapan. Instead, so here I'm telling you, please be flexible because sometimes the question would like to change it this way. So why can it be under lengkapan? Because sometimes rock, okay, can also be hang on the wall. So those that you just attach to the wall, lah, it's not necessarily those kind of rock that you put on the floor itself. So rock pamerat can also be a form of lengkapan. So while the membawa masuk means what, yeah? Anything that your permit bring in, consider as model so now as he bring in now his money is getting lesser but do i care no we only care about the shop itself so as your permit bawa masuk his contribution bertambah at the same time lengkapan juga bertambah so both also positive in a 2800 ringgit uh, so you go and put it into your table model is a 2800 then you will have lengkapan also 2800 so you see, can it balance or not? Uh, yeah, can balance out, okay? Both sides also got 2,800. Okay, so I will just go through with the points itself. I will write down all the answer for this first question. Then I will move on to the bug digger and a bug ready. So for number two, Pemilik menerima invoice daripada pembekal Z kerana belian lima buah peti sejuk bernilai 9,500 ringgit. So I'll say, yeah, okay, because this kind of question, right, is a bit like mixture of your bab digger and your bab empat. They purposely want. So you see the word invoice, right? Okay, invoice is from your bab digger, document. Invoice is a document that uses for only this use. Sachara credit, which means that when I receive a piece of invoice, I am currently buying or am I selling? Hey, you are a customer, of course you receive document law because document is a receipt. Ma. But if you are the seller, you will be the person who ring, which give to your customer. So now I menerima secara credit from who? Pembekal Zek. I say don't even need to think so hard because they already put the word pembekal here. Lah. That's why we will change it to this term. Account belum bayar. Our hutang will bertambah because I buy now secara credit. And what did I buy? Now, peti sejuk is our barang niaga. So, it's called as inventory. So, as you buy in, isn't it inventory akan bertambah? So, both also increase by 9,500. Okay, so, record it into your table. We're going to see account belong buyout on is 9,500. At the same time, you will also have Put this joke into your inventory, 9,500. So they are very close together, but it's a different section lah because do you see I already put the equal sign over here. So between the line, is it balanced? Yes, they are equals to each other. Okay, yeah? so you just go by this pace and continue for the rest of the parts. So I have already attached uh, one question, two question, three question, for your bug do work. So please go on and do it. And the answers are all at the back already. So if you guys would like to also, I would I will also upload into the website, lah, just in case some people don't know where to find the jawaban. It's at the back of your set already. So you guys can look from there. But if you really can't find that, just go to the website and find it. Okay, I will upload it anyways.